if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, not juice. It is June the 19th, 2023, and today the topic is He's an Ever-Present Help. Friends, I actually have a lot to share with you guys. I had a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope that you all did as well. However, if you're interested in my personal weekend and the announcements that I have for y'all and things like that, then I'm sorry, you probably got to check the the end of the live version of this because I got to get to this conversation about he's an ever-present help because y'all listen to download this morning. Whew, whoever it's for, man, it's for you, please, by all means, you know, chew up the meat, spit out the bones, if it ain't for you, whatever the case is, girl, whatever you gotta do, but if it's for you, y'all, um, listen, the Lord gave me quite a bit this morning, <laughs> and, and uh, on one hand, I'm like, you know, not say curious, I think I have some ideas of some of the things, but on the flip side, I'm like, you know, I don't know who this is for and who this is gonna really resonate with, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do my best to be obedient, all right? So anyway, whew, he's an ever-present help. How did I get to this topic today? So, first of all, <laughs> I remember waking up at the sound of my alarm, then I guess I must have snoozed X, Y, and Z. So the time didn't have no, you know, significance to um, this per se. Um, At some point, you know, when I started to kind of wake up and whatnot, um... I listened to the prayer meditation and it was good. It was good, you know. Um, matter of fact, I even wrote it, wrote it down. Um, so maybe this is who this whole thing is for. So if this is you, please stay on, because <laughs> um, the days um, with the Soul Space app, the prayer meditation was centered around this right here. Um, one second here. Okay, don't try to be okay. So it was centered around this broken hearts are open ground for the love of Jesus. Okay, so that's what my prayer meditation was sitting around this morning. And um, so again, if that's you, okay, all right. Um, and then when it wrapped up, the phrase that was at the end of it said, his comfort comes to my sadness. So again, if this is you, then, then this is you, okay? Um, but anywho, <clears throat> So that's just one thing. But I would say that's all the prayer meditation had to do with the rest of this. <laughs> that's it. Like just those, the the title and then the end, you know, final thought. And the interesting thing is I barely listened to it. I remember it being kind of good, but I think I was in and out, basically. Um, But basically when I came back or whatever, I don't know if it was just a vision. I wasn't a whole dream because it wasn't like I was a whole dream per se. But I, I just kind of had a couple of words um, stand out in my heart and mind. Um, one of the words that stood out in my heart and mind is, was fasata. Fasata. Um, I'll tell y'all about that in a second. Okay. Um, the other thing that stood out in my heart and mind was he's an ever present help. So y'all know what I did. I went to openbible.info and looked up, he's an ever present help. And then I also went deeper. Um, okay, because here's the thing. Okay, so I looked up Fasata. Now, those of you all that have been following me and my journey and things like that, and y'all, you know, keep up with me, what I got going on or whatnot, um, y'all may know I have a wine business. Yes, miracleofwine.com. Okay. And recently, I changed um, suppliers, put it like that. Recently, I changed suppliers. And one of the wines is named Fissata, okay? Actually, two of the wines is named Fissata. Um, and that's F-I-S-S-A-T-A, 
Okay, so when I when Fasata first came into my mind, I was like, the wine? <laughs> I was like, what, 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 huh? But not only did I look up the definition of Fasata, which led me to Fasato, which we're going to get into that in a second. Um, another thing stood out in my mind um, as when I was waking up or vision, whatever it was, right? And that was Fasata car. Fasata car. And I'm like, is that a car? <laughs> is a facade a car? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know. So I Googled both. I, I Googled facade to figure out what the meaning of facade was. And then I Googled facade car. Facade said this right here. It said a woman with a fixation, fixation or obsession. I'm going to read it again. A woman with a fixation or obsession or obsession. Fisata. There's already things there, but let me let me just keep going. Okay. So then um I looked up Fasato because it was pretty much leading me to Fasato. And that pretty much means the same thing except it said a, a person. A person. So this can be for men and women, this whole conversation, okay? So you know if you're the brokenhearted, you know if you need this message, okay? So male and, male and females is welcome to this message, basically. But uh, I'm telling you what got me to put to all of this, okay? But when I looked at Fasata Card, there, there were just things that were standing out to me in the Google. I know this is going to sound crazy, but on the flip side... I felt confirmation in my heart and mind about all of this because last night before I went to sleep, I happened to tune in to my homegirl Dana Ray. And um, one thing I am inspired and encouraged by watching her and listening to her is that she has this beautiful way of interpreting her dreams. And she has a great way of documenting all of her stuff. Like, y'all know I'm still working on that, right? Y'all know I'm still working on, you know, definitely documenting my dreams and stuff. And then when it comes to the interpretation part, I've been sharing with you guys how I've come to the interpretation. Most of the time, I just go to dreammoves.com, X, Y, and Z. And so when I went to Google today and I looked up facade to car, which I didn't know if it was a car or what. I didn't know what facade meant. <laughs> um, well, like I said, no, I didn't know what facade meant. That's me being honest. Um, even though I got the wine on my website, <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. So basically... I was like, well, when I, the stuff that I was seeing about facade car was standing out to me and resonating. And I was like, do I need to go to Dream Moves and interpret this? Or do I need to do this in another way? And uh, so shout out to Dana Ray for being obedient and stuff. Because I think the Lord, like, I know a lot of people follow her ministry that are might, they might be single. They might be waiting on kingdom marriage and all that type of stuff. But, and I know I'm already married, so I'm not necessarily following her for that. I think my my inspiration comes from her, or the Lord speaks to me through her in regards to her documentation, her interpretation, like those gifts that she's operating in, that I believe that he's downloading some of those things into me, or whatever the case is, or wanting to maybe help me. Because again, ain't no way, I mean, I'm a pretty creative person, but I'm not sitting, but you know... To have all of this, it this stuff, it, listen, this downloads from the Lord. That's what I feel in my heart and mind. So, no, I did not just go to dreammoves.com this morning. I felt led to, I went to openbible.info, and I, I looked up dream interpretation, and that spoke to me this morning. <laughs> um, and, and pretty much, good morning, mama. Good morning to my mother, y'all. Good morning. She looked. Another one of them dream interpreters, our, our interpreters, okay? <laughs> ah. So, um, but yeah, um, basically when I went to openbible.info and I looked up dream interpretation, because um, I was trying to figure out, do I just need to go to dreammoves.com or what do I need to do to interpret this dream? Um, this led me to Daniel um, 2, 1 through 49. Y'all can read the entire thing. I'm not going to read the entire thing. But it was interesting because as I was scrolling, I was just scrolling the verses for for dream interpretation. And then all of a sudden it was like, I, I think it was, I just, I was scrolling in my hand all of a sudden just kind of highlighted a certain section in one of these verses. 
Um, I didn't write down the exact verse, but I'm going to write down what stood out to me. Or I wrote down what stood out to me. And this is what the verse was saying. It said, O king forever, tell your servants the dream and we will show the interpretation. And then basically, this they were talking to the king of the Knesset. So the interesting thing is these are the um, Chaldeans. That's going to be important in a moment, okay? So the Chaldeans, right, are saying this to King Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar tells them, he's like, You shall be torn limb from limb, and your houses shall be laid in ruin. So basically he's saying, I'm going to tell you this interpretation. I mean, I'm going to tell you my dream, and y'all better interpret it. And if you don't interpret it, I'm going to tear you limb from limb, and I'm going to, you know, you let um how's it gonna be a ruin i'm like okay lord well I, I guess i need to tell the people the dream because i don't want none of them things to happen <laughs> or the dream or the vision whatever that you is you've given me with facade right and so what i felt led to do this morning instead of going to dreammoves.com and getting their interpretation of what the different symbols that was standing out to me when i looked up facade car um i was more so led to just look up the definitions of the words and that was mind blowing but we're gonna get into that in a second like, I have one more thing to share with you guys about, I guess, confirmation for me to do all this this morning, right? So then, um, what was it? What was it? Oh, um, it was something. Uh, it was something that led me, um, uh, I can't remember at the moment, y'all, so my apologies. But there was something else that stood out to me this morning. And as I was looking it up, uh, what was it, Lord? Um... I wrote down the notes for it, but I don't, I can't remember how I got to it exactly. I, but I looked something up and the word Chaldean, like as I was looking it up, the word Chaldean um, said, uh, basically it showed me the number nine and I saw the word Chaldean and nine. Now again, Chaldean stood out to me this morning because of that verse that I just shared with you guys, or, you know, that section in Daniel. So I went back, I was scrolling, I think it was about still facade of car. And I was looking for something else about facade car, and it, I, I, I think I was trying to look at, get like a more concrete definition. And um, let's say I know I saw Chaldean, and then I scrolled back down to Chaldean, and right next to Chaldean, it was saying nine. And so I went to the Strong's Concordance and looked up nine. And then it said two things. It meant um, stream, meadow, greenery. Uh, meadow grassy area and then the second meaning said concretely something lost abstract destruction that is Hades I said okay <laughs> so here's the thing here and this is what I'm receiving here okay maybe this is like not not just say life or death but life or death just came to my heart and mind just now so i got i mean y'all can take that or leave it i don't know this message might be life or death for some people who knows i don't know i don't know i'm just that just came to me but um as i was reading like reading these things this morning and writing these things down because then like i said um because one of the words meant ably and i might not be saying it right or ably or something like that because you know how i write so, so sorry y'all <laughs> but it says a region of the holy land okay so this is from the region of the holy land as well um so this could be a maybe what i'm receiving here is this could be good news for you in some ways and maybe this could be bad news for you so it's up to you now uh, where, where your heart is and where, you, where the lord is leading you x y and z but before we get into this conversation about he's a present help i think i'm going to share with you guys the vision or dream or what i received as i looked up what was standing out to me okay so again, the, the deep dive into facade of car. So I just told y'all how I got to it and, and what was standing out. And, well, I didn't tell you what was standing out, but I told you what, how I got to it. So here are some things that were standing out when I saw facade of car, when I just Googled facade of car. First of all, um, apparently there are facade wheels. Now listen, again, I had no clue what facade meant. I just was familiar with the word because of the wine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when I looked up the definition of facada and, and facado, which is what it was leading me to, um, that already stood out as interesting because I was like, a fixation or an obsession? Either male or female? So, or, you know, per people? Okay, you know. But then, this is the stuff. So, apparently, there are facada wheels. 
Okay, they're off a side of wheels. Now, wheels stood out to me this morning because, you know, there are angels that apparently looks like wheels, okay? But anywho, that's, that came in my heart this morning. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but anywho, when I looked at the definition of wheels, this is what it said. Now, usually, again, I would have just went to dreammoves.com and said wheel, you know, and saw what it had to say about wheels. Not this morning. This morning, I just looked up the definition of wheels, and this is what it said. A circular object that revolves on an axle and is fixated below a vehicle and other or other object to enable it to move easily over the ground what stood out to me the most in this definition y'all is the part that says to enable it to move easily um now again we're talking about here's a, a present help oh i didn't tell y'all oh okay mm, i'm trying to figure out how much i should tell y'all Okay, so y'all know the other day, right? Um, <laughs> you go with testimony. It, anyway, okay, it's a testimony. Hopefully it go. Hopefully it helps. So anyway, y'all know the other day when I um share with you guys, I'm not your superwoman, right? Um, and I told y'all, I was like, I feel like this is for me. I feel like this is for me. I feel like it's for a lot of people, but I also feel like this is for me based on a particular situation that had happened over the past few weeks. And so, net. I kind of hate that I didn't tell y'all about the weekend because now the stuff is anyway. So that was a that was what Thursday, okay. So then yesterday, um, this a similar thing happened to where, uh, without me going deep into the situation, um, I had someone to reach out to me for assistance again, okay. Um, now I had helped the person um you know a couple of times now right um and that's why again when i got that whole thing about i'm not your superwoman that lord i guess was telling me that hey everything ain't for you to help da, 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 da. um it was like coming full circle on sunday okay so on sunday i'm getting i'm being reached out about hey can you help me again and the lord fixed it remember i told y'all remember i told y'all say you will be affected. <laughs> this is the crazy thing that blows my mind about all this stuff. I was like, you will be affected by getting in the way of the, what the Lord want to do with folks, right? You can't take on everybody's stuff because it ain't some stuff ain't for us to take on. Some stuff is just for us to pray or for us to, you know, plant a seed, whatever the case is, but it's not for us to like fix other people's problems, things like that, right? The Lord fixed it where not only did I did I get a confirmation about the word from Thursday or what that whole I'm not your superwoman word, but he fixed it that I I didn't have to lie about not being able to do it because I, I could not I could not assist. Um and he fixed it that way that I could not assist. I did I could not assist and I could not lie about that. Cause the thing is like I guess the thing that convicted me to help in the past was like, oh, well, the Lord has provided for me, so I got it, da 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 da, da. But yesterday I ain't had it. And I literally was like, I, I just can't. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm physically in a place where I cannot. Um, and I'm believing basically because of what the word that I was given last week that that's probably for a reason and by design that I was, wasn't able to, right? So anyway, so again, when I'm looking into all this about facade car and all this stuff like that, again, some of these things is resonating. So who knows? It might be for the, the person as well. Um, but hey, you know, that, that's neither here nor there, right? Um, hopefully, I'm just sharing with you guys more details about this thing, right? So again, when I'm seeing these things about... Um, Again, when this topic, he's an ever-present help, right? We need to be focused on the Lord and right and the way he helps and what he do and, and things like that. And so with that in my heart and mind, what stood out to me when I looked up that definition of will, it says to enable it to move easily. Like when he's an ever-present help, when he's the one in control, he will enable us to move easily. I guess like this facade of will. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> So then I saw that there are apparently facada hanging organizers. Facada hanging organizers. Now I know y'all can be like, listen, Miracle, you sound crazy. Hey, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, whatever. You know, <laughs> I'm just sharing with you guys what the Lord shared with me at, and what he used to share with me. Anywho, uh, car hanging organizers. 
So I looked up the definition of organizer and it says a person who organizes a thing used for organizing. So I went deeper and looked up um, organizing or organize. And this definition says arrange into structured whole order. Make arrangements or preparations for an event or activity. And then it also said coordinate. Listen. If this don't sound like the Lord, <laughs> then I don't know what does. He does all those things. Again, he's an ever-present help, you know? So he will organize the situation, right? Um, again, a structured hold order stood out to me this morning um, as well, you know? So y'all can let all that marinate and stuff, but I just only thought of the Lord when I was thinking, reading this definition of organizer, all right? So then, apparently... <laughs> As we go deeper with this, um, there are facada air purifiers and apparently air fresheners. That's it. So what, what you? <laughs> so I looked up air purifier and it said protective devices that combine an e internal filter and fan to pull in unwanted particles from the air. Is or excuse me, in a specific room. And then this says the filtration proceeds, excuse me, the, pro <laughs> the filtration process repeats several times an hour, continually boosting in <laughs> boosting in um, something, I think it's clear, air quality. I think the word was clear. When I was reading this in definition and whatnot, y'all, all I could just think about was the Holy Spirit. I was thinking about the Holy Spirit, how it's internal and it um, filters. You know, it's like filtering out the unwanted particles, X, Y, and Z. Like, it's constantly there to remind us of what the Lord is telling us and what the Lord, Lord wants us to do and his word and confirmations and things like that, right? So all I could think about was the Holy Spirit when I thought about the, the air purifier. And then when I got to that part about um, the process repeats several times an hour, constantly boosting the, um, air for the quality of the air, X, Y, and Z. All I can think about was prayer. This is what prayer does, right? Again, he's an ever-present help and he has the Holy Spirit there to convict us and to guide us and things of that nature and to tap into that, we need to be praying continually, which is what the word tells us to do. That's what I received when I looked that up. Now listen, then I looked up. Air, air freshener. <laughs> the definition of air freshener said a substance or device for making the air in a room smell fresh or clean. Then um something else I came across said create a pleasant uh <laughs> ambiance, I believe. Uh due to the presence of perceived nice smells. Um, this pretty much led me to, um, basically I started to just think about what God smells. That's what I basically started thinking about. And that led me to Ephesians um, 5 and 2. And it says, And walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So, this is what God wants to smell. This 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 sacrifice that well, that He did through Jesus, right? Um, and whatnot. He don't want the alternative. I got Pope, but it's in the go deeper section. Y'all can read the verse on your own what the Pope is, and that's in Isaiah three and twenty three. Um, and then I also went deeper with Genesis eight and twenty one as well. Um, in reference to um air air freshener, but anywho, um, then. <laughs> facade car led me to brown leatherette now listen okay let me just share the definition so the definition says imitation leather okay and then it says um i don't know what it, is, but it says the action of you um oh so what i did was this okay so it said imitation leather as the definition of um leatherette because i just looked up the um leatherette now the, my first thought when I read Leather Red this morning and the definition of it, I was like, so fake leather? <laughs> you know? And I was like, man, that don't sound good. 
But I went deeper. And <laughs> when I looked up imitation, because remember uh, it says imitation leather for the definition of, of leatherette. So when I looked up imitation, this is what it says. It says the action of you, uh, excuse me, of using someone or something as a model. Okay. Then it says a thing intended to simulate or copy something else. Um, and then when I looked up simulate, y'all, it said, uh, goodness, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can look up these definitions yourself. But pretty much the, um, the something or the character of. So, basically, um, well, y'all can look up, again, the definition of imitate and get it all for yourself. But basically, um, as I was looking up the definition of imitate and um, do, 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 what was that other one? Whatever that other one was. It, no, imitate and simulate. I'm going to think about Jesus. That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Following Christ and imitating Christ. Um but here's a verse that stood out to me, y'all. John 14 and 26. It says, But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things. And dare to sorry. Something to your remembrance, all that I have brings. Thank you. Bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Um yeah, that's what the Holy Spirit does. So, again, so now now I'm like, I guess imitate ain't so bad after all. Like, on, on one hand, I'm like, why, why you said imitation, leather, da 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 And then now I'm like, oh, but, well, it looks like we need to be imitating and simulating Christ. <laughs> so that's what I'm receiving. Um, Y'all can go deeper with all of that. Um, I, I implore you guys to go deeper with Brown as well. And, Again, y'all know what I used to would do. I would just look up the def I mean, not the definition of Brown. I would just go to dreammoves.com and see what Brown means and in dreams, right? But this morning, again, I just ended up going to openbible.info, which is my, you know, my Bible resource for uh, for verses. And um, in there, there was so many verses that resonated with just putting in Brown. I just put Brown in, y'all. And um, I didn't write none of those verses down. I'm just telling y'all to go to openbible.info and... Look, just type brown in and see what comes up and what resonates with you. Because <sighs> he has something to say about all of it. At first, I'm like, brown, so what does brown mean? And then, yeah. Anyway. So then, apparently, there are facades. Listen, I ain't even gotten to the, <laughs> the verses yet because I'm just telling y'all this, this vision and the interpretation of it. And it was so much that at some point, I just had to stop because I'm like, Lord, I feel like I'm just going to keep going with all this. You're just going to keep downloading stuff to me. But anyway, so uh, apparently, there are facades. <laughs> washing hand gloves i know y'all first of all again can i just put on the table that i did not one didn't know what facade meant two did not when i when facade car came into my heart and mind i was like is that a thing apparently there's a lot of facade things but anywho <laughs> um so facade um it, matter of fact it's microfiber because that came up as well as being important microfiber fiber washing hand gloves <laughs> um when i looked up gloves in particular it said protect against chemical burns and i was like interesting that stood out as interesting i don't know who needs that protection but hey you know just saying just saying that's what it first said but then when i went deeper and started looking into into this specific glove itself like microfiber gloves da 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 this is what it was saying <laughs> about these gloves Anyway, it says these gloves are softer and less abrasive than sponges. Can I just stop right there? Hold on. I said, Lord, um, <laughs> what stood out to me as I was reading this stuff and writing this stuff down is that um, that whole account about um, God's yoke being easy over the yoke of sin, right? Um, for whatever reason, and we and we know why it is, because the enemy is trying to push the idea that, you know, oh, doing what God, God's will, all that stuff, that's too hard. It's too da-da-da, it's hard. God's will and way is easier than the enemy's. You know, the easier, again, the weight and yoke of sin is much worse than than the yoke of Christ. That That's what I found in my life, right? And so as I was reading this thing about the microfiber uh, wash glove, whatever the case is, and seeing this part is saying that it's softer and less abrasive. That's what stood out to me this morning. 
Softer and left the brace of y'all. I don't know if we need to. Again, he's an ever present help. And we're going to get to that too. But I'm just, let me finish sharing the interpretation. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. He's softer and less abrasive, okay? Um, what else is important about these gloves? Apparently, they absorb more water, allowing you to clean more effectively. <laughs> then it say it also can be used for agitation during clay and bar treatment. Um, and then it says a sponge doesn't have the ability to safely carry dirt away when washing your car. So, um... So instead of getting something that's not going to truly clean you, right, and to truly, you know, get you where you want to be, trust the ever-present help that will not only clean you efficiently, right, but will have a, a softer effect and less abrasive experience. I don't know if anybody else will get that, but I don't know. It, it, this stood out to me as good as word. I don't know how y'all feel about it. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well... <laughs> Then um another thing that stood out to me as I was looking that up was saying um and uh I think something about detailed skin protecting from exposure. Um yeah. Yeah. So again, I get it seemed just like another um layer of protection for us, y'all. He's never read a, a ever present help, another form of protection for us, okay? Now, another interesting thing that stood out to me about Fasada Car, and we we getting near y'all, we getting to the end of just this interpretation, <laughs> um, is that I started to notice that these wheels is for luxury cars. <laughs> um, I started seeing like Fasada wheel for Porsches. Apparently, it was Fasada wheels for Rolls Royces. I said, okay, interesting. So I looked up luxury vehicles. I'm just seeing what does the definition have to say. This says a car that provides. <laughs> above average to high-end levels of comfort um it says features and equipment often are more expensive materials and surface finishes are used and buyers expect <laughs> that part stood out to me this morning if you didn't notice buyers expect better build quality then it says often used um uh, higher quality interior materials um having features that aren't uh ava available on a lower priced uh I don't know if y'all get it in this but okay lower price models and then it starts talking about the engines and all how all these things are just higher level higher quality x y and z and um, ultimately, it wrapped up with saying um, that it has more amenities. Now, at first, I'm like, are we the luxury vehicles or what? You know, because, um, again, if I'm, if I'm interpreting the wheel to be Christ and Lord X, Y, and Z, um, I'm thinking that maybe we are the luxury vehicles or we should be. That's probably the, the pulp of the situation. Maybe we're not yet. <laughs> Maybe we still lower price X, Y, Z. You know, we, we need to get our interiors and all that stuff upgraded, apparently. Uh, <laughs> this was the worst year for me this morning. Anywho, but anyway, right, aside from that part, um, again, what really stood out to me as I was reading all of that is that part of buyers expect. Who is the buyer, y'all? Who is the buyer? The, the Lord, is the he bought us with the price. Does the Bible not say that? All right? So... He sees us as these luxury vehicles. He's expecting us to be a better quality. I don't know if this is for you today, but I hope it is. I mean, hey, anyway, <laughs> stood out to me. And so then I, I just went a little bit deep, just a little bit deep. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping the end of this interpretation. A little bit deeper. So the, the two cars that stood out to me, I just showed y'all or told y'all, Porsche and Rolls Royce. I looked up Porsche. A Porsche says a covered entrance to a building now again like i looked and i made sure because at first i'm like porch did the thing give me porch and i looked back and it still said porch i said okay but what stood out to me is the part that says a cover entrance to a building so y'all let that be what it is what it, if it's for you again are you covered today are you covered look by the ever present help okay then rose voice 
All right. It says the most luxurious. Okay. Look, <laughs> Rosewood said the most luxurious. Then it also says something that is the most luxurious or the highest quality of its kind. Y'all, okay. So that is Fasada Car. That's the interpretation that came to me this morning. That's like, uh, listen, I, listen, the Lord went deep. I, I could have probably kept going. I was like, I need to go do the juice. <laughs> okay. yeah, I need to pause somewhere. <laughs> but let's get to this conversation then. Let's get to this conversation about an ever-present help. Because again... You know, we may be, uh, let me see what y'all got to say. <laughs> okay, a Melancholy Raven says, I'm lost. Can you catch me up? I just arrived. Okay, hello, Miss uh, Melancholy Raven. Uh, Raven, thank you for tuning in. Um, you probably had to catch this from the beginning because I can't say it all. But basically, what I will share, just to get you, um, of what just happened or what I was sharing here, is that, um, uh, basically, I was given a, I guess you would say vision this morning, not a dream because it wasn't a full dream. Um, like a vision, and um, and there were a couple of words that stood out into my heart and mind. Um, one was the phrase, he's an ever-present help, which is what we're about to get into in a minute. And then the other was facada, and then um, facada car. And I went through all of that, of what the different stuff means, and I know it, it's random and sounds strange. <laughs> it might sound strange, um, especially if you just came in or whatever. But, um, you know, again... Since you are here, right, maybe this is for you. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, but if you are someone that's feeling brokenhearted, if you're someone that's feeling lost, if you're someone that's feeling sadness or anything like that, and you're doubting that the Lord is there for you, I think this message might be for anybody in that situation. Um, we got to trust him to be our ever-present help. We can't trust other people, you know, and everything like that. And, and I'm a living witness, apparently, when I receive over the weekend, is that God will remove <laughs> Those anybody in his way uh, of getting to you in regards to um, if people are like trying to take fill his void in your life. So, um, but anyway, so that's what all I just share that whole interpretation about facade car and the different things I came across and what it was standing out to me as or representing. But let's get into this conversation about he's an ever present help because. Again, if you if you want to be that that luxury vehicle, you know, at the end of the day, if you want the wheels that's going to help you, or any of those things that I shared earlier about facade car, then we need to depend on the ever present help. And these are the verses that stood out to me this morning about that. Psalm forty six and one it says, "To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song." God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Um, you guys can go deeper and read uh, Psalm 46, 1 through 11. Um, but yeah, that's where obviously ever present help comes from in regards to the Bible. Um, now, Nahum 1 and 7 stood out to me as well. And it says, the, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the, the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. So he knows if you are taking refuge in him, y'all, and we can trust him because he is a good stronghold in the day of trouble. That's what that verse saying. I ain't got nothing else to really reiterate about that, okay? Um, Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Again, y'all, if this is for you, I'm just trying to encourage you and inspire you to lean on the ever-present help. He is there. It's like he's pleading with us to trust him. And I hope that y'all are encouraged and inspired to do so. Um, let me keep going. Psalm 91 and 2, it says, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. This is what he wants, y'all. This is what he wants to us to do. Submit our heart, our life, everything to him. And trust him, y'all. Psalm 73, 26. It says, my flesh and my heart and my portion forever. Um, Yeah, this is what we need to, again, surrender to the Lord. You know, there are plenty of verses to go deeper with, you guys. I mean, plenty of verses in the go deeper section. If you all to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. Um, Actually, again, um, there were so many verses that I just stopped writing them down for the go deeper section. And I just share with you guys. Just go to openbible.info. And look up um, an ever-present help and see what else stands out to you all this morning. But hey, that that's ultimately the juice this morning, you guys. I hope that you are inspired to trust the Lord. Let him be your ever-present help. Because yeah, that's the juice. 
This is ultimately the juice today. Now listen, the Bible verse of today is 2 Corinthians 5 and 18. It says, and all things are God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the lord's will like i said i have a lot of announcements and things to share and i'm sorry podcast people i just don't want to keep you on here for an hour <laughs> share with you guys all the different details and stuff if you want to go to um actressmiraclesims.com or find me actress miracle sims you guys can see some of the updates and whatnot for yourself or you guys can just go to the live version of this um which is playing on youtube facebook <sighs> so many places um you guys can go to that and just Fast forward to the end so y'all can hear all the details about um, the amazing things that the Lord has been doing over the weekend. But um, I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow with the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there, check out the options, consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show, but we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.